G'day. Seize him. Take me, but leave the flamingos alone. Quickly, get him to the car. Everybody knows the world ain't right. Down on your knees, get up and fight. G'day, Rocky Hound here. So it turns out I missed at least one other Easter egg in the detailed breakdown video that I put out for the finals teaser shown by Embark Studios at Gamescom. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you do that first. It's linked above and in the video description below. There are a few other little details that I noticed later as well, and I'll cover those in this video too. And there's also what could be an Easter egg in the teaser that might just give away the date for the upcoming full gameplay trailer. More about that towards the end of the video. Firstly, let's look at an Easter egg that I missed right at the start of the teaser. The opening action shot of the teaser is this large rubber duck on the left. More about the duck in a moment. And on the right, a wrecking ball is smashing into the scene. In fact, it's two wrecking balls smashing through at once. But what is more important is what's amongst the debris resulting from the impact. There's lots of building bits and whatnot, but look at this object here. Let me outline it for you to make it easier. Do you recognize what it is yet? Maybe this will help. Yep, it's an inflatable flamingo. A couple of frames further into the teaser, you can see the donut shape underneath it. So, what's a blow up flamingo doing here? Well, for a moment, let's jump back in time to when many of the senior art team at Embark Studios, including Embark's co-founder and chief content officer, Rob Brunison, were with the Battlefield team at DICE. Despite the trailer for Battlefield 5 not having the greatest reception, the opening shot of it is really interesting. It starts with a close-up of a marble statue of a bloodied horse's head, and then a teddy bear a candelabra and a couple of bottles of champagne all chained as adornments on a World War II tank. The trailer then quickly moves on to the start of the action. Now I think when this trailer was released a lot of people missed that this opening shot was actually a fond farewell from the art team at DICE to their beloved Battlefield 1 with those items all found in that game in various ways. Similarly, I think the Embark Studios art team have used the opening shot of the finals teaser as a creative way to acknowledge that the finals has superseded Ark Raiders, Embark Studios' other game in development, and taken its place as their debut game to be released. Flamingos feature as one of the more novel animals seen in the Ark Raiders universe, and here we are with a flamingo being yeeted out of the way by the finals wrecking balls, I think it's a pretty choice easter egg. Okay, let's jump back to the giant rubber duck. This is actually a real world thing. It's a giant floating sculpture designed by Dutch artist Florentin Hoffman and it has appeared in many cities around the world. So it probably appears in one of the finals maps. In 2014 the oversized duck actually appeared in Shanghai which from the James Bond jellyfish skyscraper reference we see in the teaser we already know is likely to be one of the finals maps that we play in. From the Duck's previous real world travels though, it could also be for another as yet unknown location in the game, such as Hong Kong, Seoul, or even Sydney, Australia. Let's now look at some additional details that I didn't mention in the first teaser breakdown. In this screenshot on the left side of the image, we can see what appears to be raindrops on the camera, so perhaps a clue that we can potentially expect in-game weather cycles for the finals maps. On this billboard, we can see that one of the characters' names might be Bianca, or something very similar to that. This is the first indication of any character names that we've had for the free-to-play FPS game. I also missed pointing out this character's chest holster, which might have a 1911 or a CZ-75 pistol in it. It's a little hard to see well. However, we're slowly starting to establish a list of weapons in the game, and I might create a specific video on that once we've seen the full gameplay trailer in September. And that takes me to a possible Easter egg in the finals teaser that might actually give away the date for the full gameplay trailer. 
Previously, a code shown in the Ark Raiders trailer, which was released in December last year, did give away a date in late February this year, upon which Embark Studios tweeted out another teaser for the game. So we definitely have some expectations that they might have done something similar in the finals teaser. Now we know the gameplay trailer will be shown in September, they've already mentioned that, so I've trawled through the teaser looking for anything that might relate to a September date. Specifically, I've looked for items that have a 9 in them or represent the ninth month, and then see if they have any associated numbers that might tell us the day in September the trailer is to release. Now this method of looking for an easter egg knowing part of the information already potentially suffers from confirmation bias because an item or image could have a 9 in it and just be a pure coincidence. But for the fun of potentially guessing the trailer date, let's take a look at what I spotted and if it's right we can say it was because I'm a genius. And if I'm wrong, let's just agree All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears. Okay, so the items I've found with a 9 on them in the teaser are these gold coins that appear in the very middle of the teaser. Gold stars border the edge of these coins, and the finals logo separates the ring of stars into a group of 9 above and a group of 5 below. So, based on that, I'm calling Monday, September 5th as the possible release date for the finals gameplay trailer. And if it's right, what a way for the Embark art team to give us the easter egg by hiding it right in plain sight on one of the main game items we see in the teaser. Well let's see how this pans out in about a week and a half eh? Place your bets, let me know if you think I'm right or wrong in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want more info from me about Embark Studios games. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, kia kaha, stay strong.